So now I'm going to show you how to prove the quadratic formula x equals minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all divided by 2a. So to do this, first of all write your quadratic equation down. Make sure it's in the form ax squared plus bx plus c equals 0. So first of all we're going to divide this quadratic equation by a. So we've got a squared over a plus bx over a plus c over a equals 0. So if we simplify this we get x squared plus b over ax plus c over a equals 0. So this is the key step now. What you have to do is write the quadratic form in the form x plus p bracket squared plus q. So we're completing the square on this quadratic here. So the first term in the bracket is x. What we're going to do is half this coefficient here so it'll be b over 2a. And then if we square this and minus it from the end, and then we've still got the c over a. So again if we just simplify this bit here, so that will give us b squared over 4a squared plus c over a equals 0. So the next thing to do is just to rearrange this and make x the subject. So if we bring these two terms to the right hand side Okay, we can then square root the right hand side. Don't forget to put your plus and minus there. So, next thing you can do is bring this term over to the left. So as you can see it's starting to take shape here. Um, we just need to try and simplify this bit underneath the square root next. So if we multiply this fraction here by 4a, um, that will give us a common denominator of 4a squared. So c times 4a is 4ac, uh, 4a times a is 4a squared. So we can now write this as a single fraction. So we can now square root the numerator and square root the denominator. So if we square root the denominator, we get 2a. So as you can see now, we've got the denominator the same on these two fractions here. So we can combine these together and we end up with the result which we're trying to prove at the top.